I know she always loved to come, didn't yeah, she? Yes, she did. Always, always enjoyed seeing her. Yeah. Three miles from the North Carolina line near the old High's garage is a place called Valentine's, Virginia. If you listen closely, you can hear the cadence of Cupid stamping out love double time at the old post office. Come on in. How you doing? All right, so how many you got there? Four? Four. I'm on 28. Willie Wright has been the postmaster here in Valentine's for almost 50 years. Every Valentine's, it's the same thing. Thousands of letters pour in. They want my postmark and my heart cachet design put on their Valentine's. When Willie Wright first got started, he stamped out a mere 400 of these Valentine's. Now he's up to 40,000. I'm the second largest mail of Valentine's with a special cancellation in America. John Houston and Wendell Owen made the 45-mile trek just for their sweethearts. So when the grandchildren get them, they <coughs> go show their little friends they got one from Valentine, Virginia. For most folks, this is a moment to capture on film. Since the 1900s, the post office hasn't changed a lick. But this isn't just a local tradition. People from as far away as Massachusetts and Japan stamp out Wright's help. The machine won't put, on a, won't put on a pretty cancel like that. It doesn't do it. I have had calluses and tendonitis in my elbow, too. Certainly have. But in the end, Wright says it's all worth it. One man came in here and he said, a Valentine, this post office saved his marriage. And that is why they call him Mr. Cupid. Bye-bye. All right. Okay.